Hi, hello, welcome to the video. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. Okay, today's video is going to be five things I've learned as a videographer in the last two years of working as a videographer. There's been a lot of ups and downs, for sure. I've made a lot of mistakes. I've gained a lot of good clients. I've lost some good clients. But overall, I think I'm doing a good job for only being in the industry two years. But yeah, enjoy. I definitely am not scared because people are walking close. But you know what? You have to start somewhere. We're doing it, we're making a video, so let's just go. Hello, this is the first thing I've learned. Yes, I'm sitting in a field in the middle of nowhere because that's what photographer YouTubers do, I guess. Artsy, woo! First thing I've learned, obviously a lot of people say don't undersell yourself, don't underprice yourself. I really mean it. The biggest thing I've learned this year is not to go too low on my prices. Funnily enough, when I hired my prices, I've actually got booked by a lot more people because before when my prices were half what they were at the start of the year, people didn't think I did it as a full-time career. Basically, when I charged 200 euro a day, people just presumed I would was a total amateur which I was in all fairness but they they always assumed I was in college and this was my hobby and now where I like doubled my prices people take me seriously but now the fact that people take me seriously when I show up somewhere and I charge what I charge people get me back because they know I'm serious about it they know I'm not just a college student doing this on the side so yeah basically to conclude my point just charge more. The second I started charging more, people took me more seriously and that resulted in me getting more clients, more jobs, more bookings. Do it. Charge more. And guess what? When you charge more, you're actually going to be happier too. So just do it. Literally, don't wait till next month. Don't wait till next week. Do it today. Thank you. Goodbye. Next location, please. Ah! Bees. Okay, I have my sunglasses on now, and um, so I'm not squinting like in the last clip. I don't know if you noticed, but I literally could not see the camera. So I'm sorry if that last clip was a total shit show. The second thing I've learned is basically, you can be a fantastic videographer technically, you can get the best angles, you can make the nicest work, but that doesn't mean you're gonna get booked the most, or that doesn't mean you're actually gonna be profitable. I used to think it was always about getting the best angles, adding in the best transitions, but honestly, it really doesn't matter. It's as much as you think it does. For me, I think the two most important things are one being client relationships and number two being how you handle problems as they arise. Cause everyone knows on a shoot, there's always gonna be some problems, whether that be wires not working, SD cards not working, Sony A7IV's just randomly not working at all and not recording. Sony, if you see this, I know you're not gonna see this. The A7IV is shit. It's good, but it's not reliable. I've had so many problems with this camera. But yeah, forget about the Sony problems. That will be its own video. I know a lot of videographers that are technically way more skilled than I am, but I would get work over them because it may sound silly, but I'm very easygoing and kind. And honestly, that helps me. There's certain clients I have that book me because I'm easygoing. And when I say like, does that matter? Oh, there's a doggo coming. Hi doggo. Hey, when I ask certain clients why they book me over certain other people their answer is literally because I'm easygoing and some other videographers might be very stressful to work with so yeah I think those two things I just named are very 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 important I think they're just things that are very overlooked and they shouldn't be because the fact of the matter is a client will hire you because you're a nice person and you're easy to work with over the fact that you have 7,000 Invado preloaded transitions. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I have to say anything more. Just be a good person and be easy to work with. It's so important. On to the next location. Talking out of my arse. Hi. It's so weird actually being able to see yourself. We're new to this YouTube game. No, no, I mean like, oh, none yeah, of my cameras have a flippy monitor. Yeah, did you hear that? I have a flippy monitor. He has a red, which has no flippy monitor, yeah. which means he has really inferior footage. Yeah, because you know, for all the times that people vlog on reds. Anyways, this is a, uh, this video might be a fail because it turns out the park actually closes at nine. And, and the uh, microphone's in your pocket. The microphone. <laughs> Okay, my final point of this video is to make sure your briefings before a shoe are clear and you know what the deliverables are. There's so many times where I've got... I was scared a bike man just went by. There's so many times where I've got in situations with a client where it's just like they didn't know what they wanted and then because of that, I'm the one in trouble. So basically, I'm gonna keep this one short. Before your shoe, 
make sure you know what the outputs are, make sure you know what the deliverables are, whether that's 20 images from this event and one 30 second video. Don't let a client be like, maybe what? <laughs> Fuck you, Mitch, you threw me off. Come in. Yeah, because now I'm just talking bollocks. You always talk bollocks. Yeah, okay. Are you even sure that the mic is on? That's got these in the video. Hi. I was gonna say last point, right? Super simple. Have everything written down and agreed upon. So don't just be like, oh, I sent a text or you said it over the phone. No, have it in writing, preferably from like an official email. Like they're Steve at Steve's production house or whatever it is from that email. Cause then you're basically solid. Nobody can say, well, we agreed this. Nope, on the official email, you said this and that's what I gave you and not my problem. Yeah, I agree. There's been times definitely where it's like, I think I should shoot 20 quality images and then a week later the client texts me and they're like, hey, we were expecting 570 quality images and I was just like, I didn't know that. There is a van driving towards me. I actually kind of like the way it's just fucking bollocks, bro. To finish up the video, just make sure you know what your deliverables are because if you don't, I guarantee you're going to run into trouble. I promise you, you're going to run into trouble. Goodbye. Hi, this is basically the end of the video. Um, I think I've only covered, okay, I might have broke my car. This is the end of the video. I uh, basically probably just covered four points, but this park is gonna close. Midge is very confused, he's in the car. This car is a piece of shit, I'm sorry. Close the door. Let me finish this intro. But yeah, they're the four things I've learned in the two years of doing this. They're all very basic points, but honestly, for me, they're very important. Just the little things like being more kind, having good communication. They honestly took me a long way, as in like I was at a place in two years ago where I had practically zero clients. And now I have not tons of clients, but I have four or five solid clients that give me recurring work. So yeah, I hope this video was in any way helpful to anybody watching. It was a complete shit show. I don't really know what style of content I want to make. I just know that I want to make content. So I just thought I'd bring the camera out today, record something, edit it and post it. So if this gets zero views, it's fine. I just want to keep recording till I find a style that suits me. So yeah, if you like this video, you can leave a like. If you think I'm slightly weird and you might like my content, obviously subscribe. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, happy Sunday. I hope everyone has a great week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did get this far, you are a legend. I hope my car is not broke. I will see you guys in the next video. I really hope it's next week and not in a year's time. The video is over now. Goodbye. It's not